What's up y'all? I'm going to be making another video revolving around silver. Now this isn't going to be anything about uh, why you should collect or invest in silver or uh, convert your money into silver. Um, this is going to be more of a scientific experiment. So I was reading this article the other day when I was doing more research about, you know, silver and more antique, you know, uh, junk or constitutional silver. And it was talking about how if you have a coin like this, or any silver for that matter, you can um, use egg whites, um, not normal egg whites, they gotta be hard boiled, I think, I believe. I mean, you might be able to use non hard boiled, I really don't know, I didn't try it. Hard boiled egg whites to colorize silver. And they were showing some pictures of some like uh, sterling silver dishes and stuff, but they didn't have any pictures of these with that sort of spectrum uh, metallic rainbowy looking colors on it and I wanted to try that for myself and so I did and here are the results of that and I think this turned out really really good I did I had no idea it would work this effectively now granted I did learn somewhat the hard way that the eggs the hard-boiled uh, egg whites do have to be warm it will not work nearly as well if it is cold it'll take a long time because I remember it was only lukewarm and I did this side first and it turned out like this, but then when I started doing the face of the uh, Silver Eagle, it was taking forever and it was only turning like light brown. It wasn't getting all these interesting, really nice, pretty colors like uh, green, blue, orange. It wasn't really doing that. It was only like slightly orange is brown. And so I thought to myself, hmm, maybe if I heat the, the egg up again, it'll work. And I did and it did and it worked relatively shortly after. I mean, it only took maybe a half hour to start looking like this after I heated it up in the microwave for, I don't know, 10 seconds. But anyway, that's just a fun little experiment that you can try. And some people may argue why in the world would you do this? I mean, it's ruining the value of a uh, Silver Eagle. Well, to me, if I were either to clean or attempt to do this to one of these, it would be far more likely to damage the value of one of these than a Silver Eagle. And the reason for that is a Silver Eagle, there's millions and millions and millions being made. I mean, a 1987 Eagle is only worth like maybe $30. I'm really not sure what the current price is on a 1987 mint uh, Silver Eagle is worth, but it's, it's not worth much more in respects to how old it is. But um, that's part of the reason why I do this. Now there is a way to clean it with, um, you gotta use, I think it's baking soda, and you get aluminum foil, you put it in a pan, put water in the pan with the uh, aluminum foil, and then dump some baking soda on top of the aluminum, drop this in there, put a little bit more baking soda on top, turn it on low, and let it just start steaming, and it'll start bubbling away, and it'll just remove this. Immediately, you might have to get a paper towel later and just, you know, kind of wipe it very, very lightly. And then that just removes it without damaging it. Now, that's the only type of uh, bullion that I would use that for, that type of method of cleaning. I have no intentions or no plans to clean any of these Morgan dollars because, to me, they're more pretty as they are with their original patina that they've gathered over, I don't know, over 100 years. Well, that one wasn't 100 years old, but I have some that are over 100 years old. But I think you get the drift. I mean, it, it turned out a lot prettier than I had imagined it would. I thought it would look uneven. And again, at first it did look uneven, but I had to, you know, periodically move the thing around and get it to where I was happy with it. I may eventually remove this finish. I'm not really sure yet. I did neutralize it with baking soda afterwards just to try to halt any changes as much as I could. But that's going to about do it. Actually, no, that's not about going to do it. Um, there was one more thing I wanted to mention. Some people might be like, well, why would you do this? Because this is worth more right now than that. Well, again, I'm not trying to get rich really, really fast off of silver. I'm just having it as a uh, sort of a barrier and protect protection of wealth. And if silver were ever to rise up to like, I don't know, $110 an ounce, 
no one is going to care that it has this finish. As long as I can tell this is authentic silver, this is, at that point is going to be worth the exact same as that. If it really rises that high, then no one's going to care that it has a little bit of discoloration or rainbow looking spectrum colors to it. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Anyway, um, that's going to about do it for this video. And um, you can comment if you have any suggestions or if you like or disagree with anything I've said. Leave it in the comments below. I will try to read as many comments as I can. Although sometimes I'm not really on YouTube that much, so it all depends. Anyway, that'll do it.